Greetings out there, and especially to my guitaristically inclined folks that may want to know how to play, well, as best as I can at least, uh, this little tune by Nuclear Assault called Survive. So I'm going to go ahead and mention a few things right off the bat. Uh, rhythmically speaking, eh, it's moderately complicated. Uh, it's mostly a picking hand exercise, if anything else. And uh, it's definitely, uh, you know, fast and thrashing. Either your picking hand is going to say woohoo, or it's going to say holy crap. But, um, you know, as far as your left hand is concerned, yeah, there's a little bit of quick movement here and there. But aside from that, this should not be very challenging to somebody who's been playing for a year or so. Um, after that, you know, it's just a matter of, you know, what you've been playing for the rest of the time. Um, on, on the other hand, then we have a question of the leads. And this is what I want to nip in the bud right now. Um, I have yet to find okay so I've there's a version that's live there is the studio version and then there's the uh, the, the uh, demo version which is also studio which doesn't have vocals which was very helpful thanks Chris you know who you are um, for uh, dropping me a link onto where I can find that because with that you can hear uh, the rhythms especially much more clearly um, but insofar as the lead work is concerned a lot of it I don't care who you are or what kind of sound system you've got. It's washed out. I I had the hardest time hearing what's going on. And half the time when I was hearing what was going on, it was kind of a little bit of target notes, you know, and all right, what did they do beforehand? And there's a lot of inference in what I did uh, in my cover. So the, there's a problem with that. And I'm just going to kind of say, I'll, I'll show you what I, I figured out, but in no... <laughs> There is no way I could have figured out everything that they're actually legitimately playing because it's so buried in the mix. Um, you know, the rhythm track behind the leads, louder than the leads in a lot of uh, passages, especially like the faster passages. Um, you know, I actually had less of a time figuring out Anthony Bramante's almost completely washed out lead um, than I did the faster parts in John's lead. So um, that being said, I also played some of John's lead pretty, pretty horribly, and I'm going to try to correct that here. So um, I suppose we should go ahead and get started now that that small diatribe is finished. Oh, but we have a sponsor today. So this minor guitar tutorial was brought to you by me, just me. So the first riff you're going to hear, of course, is the first riff, it's the intro. And you're going to hear this throughout the song, so I only need to show you it one time, so it's kind of nice. Uh, the chords involved, E, which is on the 7th fret, just a E5, you know, E5, power chord, power chord, whatever you want to call it, to F, which is one fret higher. Then you're going to go down to the B flat on the 6th fret of the E string. that last bit, you'll hang out on the E flat, so. Now, a word really quickly about the two chords here. It's not just, or, he actually rushes the F, so. There's a little micro timing in there. Anyway, uh, that's all pedaled off of a low E that you're going to play like eight times prior to that. So it's... Riff two. So it's a little trickier with the left hand because you're going to be moving around a lot. But it's no trickier with the right hand than the first riff was. In fact, I think it's a little easier because there's a little less concentrated, you know, a little less, you know, kill. Uh, so what we have here is E for the first riff, just a quick reprise. Right there. Now we're going to go to D, which is the fifth fret. 
this is all fifth chords, all power chords. There's no diminished, there's no major thirds, minor thirds, no nothing, just all power chords the whole way through. Ain't we happy? So <laughs> it's just quick, loud, fast thrash, and that's it. So, no. so after we E flat, D, e, F, E, D, E, F, E, B flat, A. So notice the switch here. And the second part to that goes uh, D, 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 C, D, C. So. And then we'll get to the verse, which is basically B. So, but again, all of what I was playing has a low E, you know, chugging away in the background, so. Faster and probably more closely related to the actual speed of the song. Okay, so verse riff time. So the verse riff is pretty simple and we're all thankful for that. It gives our right hand a break and it lets our left hand kind of just kind of relax for a little while. So B, these are the chords. This is all I'm gonna show you is the chords here and then it's, you know, just like before, chords and then what they do with the picking end. So it's B, F, B, one note. F on the D string, that's third fret. So second fret, power chord. First fret, power chord. Okay, now it is played a different way the second time. It's for first time, of course. Okay, So, eighth fret, A string. And there's a slide in there, and it's kind of a. Now, the chords to this, which is why I was thinking Chris earlier on, again, you know who you are, um, I wasn't hearing them playing it right since 1988 until a week ago, maybe two. And uh, when I'm saying playing it right, I mean, uh, of course, they were playing it right. I just wasn't hearing exactly what they were doing because you know there's there's vocals going over the top of it and there's drums and everything else and when you get the demo version you can hear what the guitars are doing and this is kind of the the, the case in point this is kind of really neat because the guitars are kind of strummed and i mean strummed with uh the vocal lines i mean not entirely but here which which you're just holding i thought it was just holding b now we'll see what remains of the world and he doesn't really mute like I'm muting. It's more of a soft mute. So kind of roll your hand over just a little. And... There you go. Because it's still going to sustain a little through there. You're just deadening it a little bit. It's not really a full chug. You know. None of that. It's just... So now we'll see... the general idea. So now you have all the main riffs to the tune. The only two other riffs there are are the ones played underneath the solos. So let's get to those now. So the riff played under Anthony's solo uh, by John is very, it's, it's cliche 
nuclear assault. When I say cliche, I'm talking about you can. It's it's like shades of things to come. If you listen to Critical Mass or Surgery, uh, it's it's right up that alley. It's a great riff. It's just kind of bombastic and and there's a lot of power behind it. So, without further ado, I'll play the riff and then I'll break it down. So, breaking that down, simple enough, you could probably get it from what I just played there, but it's E. You gotta shake that. So that's 2nd fret, 3rd fret, all low E string. And whack it too. You just... uh, the chords come in sets of two, so you've got the first set, which is uh, uh, D and C sharp. <laughs> or the second set is B flat to A, which is, makes perfect sense. So you can play it here or here. It's the same. So Make a choice, have a good time with it. If you feel more comfortable just playing, picking wise, the same both times, A is you know, B flat on the A, which is first fret, open, uh, will be fine for you. If you feel like mixing it up a bit, go ahead and here, uh, which is again six and five. This is five and four, by the way, so. Slap around as well. Okay, so that's the first part. So when John stops playing his rhythm and Anthony stops playing his lead, it's time for Anthony to play his rhythm and John to play his lead. Um, we're going to move to F sharp. Uh, because that's a natural transposition or modulation, depending on how you're looking at things. Um, and uh, you know, if, if it's thrash, you at some point got to go from E to F sharp. It's just a thing. You have to, especially in the 80s. So this is pretty much just picked like this. Just in, you know, one of these, one of these, one of these, one of these, 16th. Yeah. So it's F sharp, E, G, F sharp, 2, open, 3, 2. Yeah, it's a quick four in there. So after he stops it, and then they go back to the uh, the riffs that we all know and love, and we've already covered uh, this. Either way, B flat, A, G, F sharp, and then E. So that's it. Pretty much all the way through. The well, the last little bit of it. So we're going to try to tackle the leads now. And as far as the leads are concerned, uh, I've already mentioned in the beginning in my disclaimer that I really don't know all of them. 
But I'll tell you what I've kind of figured out, at least that is good enough. I think the, the old fashioned term is it's good enough for the girls I go with. Make of that what you will. I'm married, what the hell? So, <laughs> um, and my wife doesn't listen to my kind of music. <laughs> so uh, at any rate, going on with the story, this, uh, this whole thing, uh, again, is predicated on, here are the things that I'm pretty sure I know. But he never played the solos the same on the demo, in the studio, or live. Neither did John. So we're left with what we've got on the album, the studio album, and that's kind of like, man, what are we getting at here? So the intro kind of leads with a volley for Anthony's solo of pick harmonics. And all you're really doing there, if you don't know how to do a pinch harmonic, uh, all you're really doing there is kind of gripping down on the pick a little bit. Maybe I could show it better here. Is uh, I don't have a lot of pick exposed. I never do, but I don't have a lot of pick exposed. And when it's time to do a pinch harmonic, you just kind of lay your thumb down a little bit over the top of it and squeeze, kind of like you're pinching the pick. And in real slow motion, all you're really doing is you're, pe you're playing a note and then you're producing a harmonic on top of that with your thumb really fast. That's all it is. That's, it's just, it's literally doing this. Need I say more? This. Same thing. So that's all this is. It's a way of getting that to be executed very quickly. So, you know, now you know that. Well, at any rate, it's a volley of trills, it seems like. Mainly on the second fret, but could be played a little bit on the first fret as well. But we're really playing kind of a 16th note, you know. No, 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 no. Okay, anyway, so the. Uh, just really digging in. But back. And forth, and you can do it either way. Don't let anybody tell you it's a new technique. Up, up picked harmonics have been around for a long time, especially when doing things like that. So after that, it was kind of a. Both notes, sorry. So that's hammer pull. Just kind of either pick it or with a hammer finger, you're picking both of those notes at once. So open D, open G. That's the next part, is kind of a series of pull offs, not unlike. But here. So that is 4 2 open, G string always. 4 2 open, 4 2 open, 4 2 open, and so forth. I don't really think he's playing that, by the way. I'm not really sure. The notes are kind of garbled. It does move, but I'm not entirely sure where. So just being honest. This is how I did the thing, so. And then afterwards, I just kind of roll off. That's just a whole step, half step. So like a C, D, or excuse me, C, D, A, G, F sharp, E type of thing. 
and I'm rolling down at that point. And I'm picking up the G 5th fret harmonic, which, by the way, is effectively the 24th fret of the G string. So, and I think he might have another note in there too, but it's not that one. So, if you want. So, but just 5th fret harmonics. Play it with a bar and you'll probably be happy. It does some things like that. So the next part, I kind of have. So this uh, goes up an A Dorian. Um, the notes of A Dorian are the same as G major, but starting in A. So A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. Notice how I'm proceeding up. You don't have to do it this way. There are other ways of doing it, but this gets you where you need to go effectively quickly and gets you in a position to play the next things that you're going to play. So it's kind of an efficient method of doing it. So E, like I was saying, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. Repeat, A, B, C, D. And at that point, you're going to reach up here and do a trill. It's just a very rapid tap. You can do it with the edge of your pick but you could do it that way as well, which is how he does it, that I did see live. And at that point, we're switching down, so. And about every time you switch positions, switch down one. So. something like that. So all that is type of deal. So <clears throat> I don't know if I can do this right. Well, there was a whole lot of mistakes in that one. So anyway, but you get the general idea. Afterwards, um, I, the only notes you can really pick up are quickly, and the last bit of his uh, lead there is. But you can tell there's some downward motion, so I wasn't sure exactly what that was because I couldn't pick out those notes. So I faked it. Could be. But I don't think so. It was it was less diet. It was less uh, harmonic minor. Yeah. And I just kind of picked in between. Again, could be wrong. I could be. It could be. I don't know. Ask him. <laughs> Anthony Bermonte, if you're out there, what the heck did you play? And I'm going to be asking John that in the same in a bit. So, you know, gosh, I mean, I sincerely doubt these guys. I mean, they probably have a bit more of a life after doing all the stuff they've done all the years. And they're like, yeah, yeah, whatever. I'm not watching somebody else's tutorial about how to play. I know how to play it. So, and if they do get the idea, hey, I want to learn how to do this myself because I forgot, I sincerely doubt it. But, uh... It just sounds like. All right. <laughs> Never mind. Good times, bad times. So this then leads. Now I did it this way in the video. But, but I think the the way it's probably actually done is this. And that's... There it is. Because... The note is hit up there, but it's not up there. You can kind of... You can tell a harmonic when you hear one. 
so it's up there. But this... This is all... Whole step, whole step. Whole step, whole step. Starting with E. Repeat that. So, triplets. Sixes, technically. And that is shifted down one fret. So, instead of 12, 10, 8, this would be 11 but on the G string. 11, 9, uh, 9, 7, and then you shift back one more and you remain here for the rest of the time. Which is 9, 7, 5, 9, 7, 5, 9, 7, 5. Back to this. That's the note I wanted to hear. Excuse me. So that's it for Anthony's ish. Best as I could do. Uh, going on, John's lead. So John's lead starts out with typical John Connolliness. And I don't mean John Connolly is in any way typical because he wrote some of the most iconic solos in the history of thrash metal. I mean, you start out with. That's just about at the edge of your neck pickup right there, where you'll be picking. So this, we're now in F-sharp, and that's F-sharp technically. Um, oh lord, Phrygian. I find it easier to start that with an up pick. Shift up. And this is same key. Harmonics all the way. Or Lovely sound, isn't it? And like I said, harmonics all the way. Once again, so F sharp G A. This would be uh, B. Uh, C sharp. F sharp, G, A. And on the G right there on the eighth fret of your B string. See, now that's the way it should have sounded on yesterday's thing, but no. So after that, unfortunately, we come to a point which is unintelligible, entirely unintelligible. The only note that I can really discern for sure is the last note that he plays, which is a harmonic, and I think it's played here. So that's that. But because of the situation we're in, and you gotta play something, I just kind of vamped. Now, so this. It's all right. So that's where we're shifting up. That's two, three, five, three, five, seven. Dang. 
something like that. So, although I kind of rushed it up and played it here. Maybe it could be an F sharp that he ends it on. I'm really not sure. Uh, after that, there's literally flaying going on. It's almost like a... So that's the thing. I'm just going to kind of say with that one, this, but it could be, it could be fives. I mean, I would, one, two, three, four, five, six, could, could remain the sixes. It could be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It, played in the same one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So seven over four. But I'm not sure. So, I mean, I really don't know. I mean, for all I know, honestly, because it's so washed out, it could just be a... Don't know. And I'm just being honest about that. Um, I, I have a, a decent ear, but I, I wouldn't say that it's a god tier ear. Um, I just can't hear everything, and that's unfortunate. Uh, so, uh, John, if you're out there, what the hell did you play? <laughs> um, well, at any rate, uh, I think the uh, uh, Jeremy Clarkson probably said it best. And on that disappointment, so um, on that glaring disappointment or whatever we want to call it, on that bombshell, uh, we're going to go ahead and call it a day. And I wish you the best of luck in learning the things that I could not and executing this in a much better fashion than I than I did. So, uh, and I know you can do it. So take it easy out there, everybody. And until next time, play faster. <laughs>